Hodge. Hodge. I knew it. I knew it was something wrong when I seen this right here. When I seen this doing the center for the game, when Travis come try to show you some love, you all was not Travis out of skin. You all was not Travis. I, right then, I knew something went all the way right. Right then, I knew something went all the way right. But look, okay, let's get to it. Now, this is last game, y'all. My man is saying my bad. He's saying my bad. And uh, on this fourth and 12, you know who missed the first tackle? You know who missed this guy? That's Hodge right there diving on the ground. Harvey went on to break three more tackles and got a first down. But you started off. You started off missing your tackle on fourth down. Crucial situation. Fourth down, a money plays. Third down, a money plays. And uh, you missed the tackle. They ain't up getting the first down on this. All right. This play right here. <coughs> when I saw this play last week, I said, hmm, dang. We need Shallow back. When I first seen that, I said, hey, I don't remember Shallow getting beat like that for no touchdown. Start him out, he ain't ready. That's what I said. Then I went back and I looked at the play. And I, so I seen Hodge. Y'all see Hodge right here? Hodge is like kind of like parallel with this, this referee. Hodge supposed to be up under this guy, right? He, he wasn't up under this guy. Hodge was looking in the backfield at the play fake. So when he in the backfield, I think this is kind of like a Tampa 2 defense where you got the two safeties up high. They kind of like on the hash marks. So you got to have that middle linebacker or you got to have – they got to carry this guy right here to get the safeties time to get over top. So if he try to – if he try to um, lob it over to Hodge, the other safety backs out of half time to make it. Or if he try to throw it back shoulder, now – um, Stoudemire have a chance to make a make a play. So that's what's supposed to happen. 24 or 41 supposed to get up under this wide receiver and make the quarterback have to throw it over their head, right? That didn't happen on this play. But I'm, I'm going to show y'all something now. Now look, this is the same play. I'm going to show y'all. On this play, number five, if you look at the two central Florida wide receivers, Number five, if you look at them like running a, a race, he's going to get more attention from the safety because he's the deepest, right? He's already past the 10. My man right here, he's still kind of like up here like on the on the 11 or something. So the safety is going to show him attention first. Hodge supposed to get up under this man and carry this man. He didn't do it. So you don't do that. When you, when you don't carry it like you're supposed to. See, like, Hodge is looking, but he's not running full tilt. He's like, he's like tippy-toeing. And this, this is what I'm going to say to Hodge. Hodge, I've seen on a bunch of plays, maybe like four plays, when you kind of run in half speed during the game. What are you doing? I saw it last week on the play when the wide receiver, he fell when, when uh, started by trying to make the tackle. And you was right there. You was the closest one to it. The guy didn't touch the ground. He got up and kept running. You was walking. And Craig came and saved the day and made the tackle. Then I seen it again last night. And I'm going to show y'all what I see. All right, y'all, I'm back. Hodge was walking again last night doing a play. I mean, it's close to the goal line. So y'all see right here now, if Hodge would have carried that man, which he didn't, now you got Stoudemire looking bad because Stoudemire really got this hash mark out here. Hodge or Hill Green got to carry. It's Tampa 2. You got to carry that, that middle linebacker or the other. Like Hodge is kind of playing like a linebacker. One of them linebackers got to carry this real deep. I mean, you got to have athletic dudes that can do this. So that's why I think it's really Hodge's um, assignment because he's the most athletic. But uh, so this happened last week, right? So let's look at this week. Let's look at this week. Y'all see Hodge down here? You see number one? You see number one? All right. You see the other uh I think this is I think this is Hill Green in the middle of the field right here where the wire where the uh referee is at. I think that's Hill Green. And you got the safety back here on the hash marks. All right. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. So 
Look, Hodge is right there. I told y'all what Hodge was doing last year, last game. He licking the backfield. He licking in the backfield. He's not looking at the wide receiver. He have no clue where the wide receiver is at, right? No clue. Now I'm starting to get the separation. It's nobody in front of Hodge. It's no running back down here, leaking out or whatever. He can back up and stay up under this guy. Hill Green is starting to notice it. Hill Green is starting to come his way. Hodge is still chilling in this little kind of like, uh, I, you can't be spying because you're too far to spy. So you just kind of in cruise zone right now. Like you just blanked out a little bit. So here they go. Up the scene. Now, now my man Hodge, he going to turn around now. It's too late now, buddy. It's too late. Same play like last time. And now, see, last time it was it was thought about. This time it's shallow. So that's why I'm not saying this is shallow's fault. Either Hill Green or Hodge got to carry this guy in that Tampa 2 kind of defense. Somebody got to carry this guy up the middle of the field. So these offensive coordinators have noticed this about our defense. Okay, when they play these two high safeties, we got a soft spot in the middle of the field if we do any kind of play action because the linebacker or Hodge, they keep staying, keeping their eyes in the backfield. They not running with the wide receiver. I'm going to show y'all. Two, two, here we go. Same thing last week. Same thing. You just change the jersey number. It's the same thing. All right? So uh, I'm not making this up. We, we all seeing this at, at real time. We seeing this. What's going on, right? All right, so so let's get to this play right here. I'm going to highlight my man Hodge again. His guy came in motion. His guy came in motion. He went around all this mess, all this stuff y'all see, all this. He came in motion. He went around all that. And uh, and Hodge got to get over top of this. He got to get over top of this. He don't get over the top in time. They throw the ball out to my guy. Touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. So y'all want y'all to see. He 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 he's being around the action in a way that's not all the way good. So this is the play I was telling y'all about with Dylan. Y'all remember when Dylan tried to score that touchdown? And he tried to dive at the at the pylon at the corner. All right, Hodge is right here. If Hodge keep running, you knock Dylan out of bounds right here, right on the five. Right on the five. If you keep running, you knock both of them out of bounds right here. You stop. You start chilling. Look at Hodge walking over here chilling. He just walking, making sure he ain't running to seven. Even when he ain't want no part of the collision, he just walking. Dylan's about to score a touchdown. What you doing, son? What are you doing, son? We gotta get active, man. You like look, you, instead of getting a part of this and, and turn it on, you trying to make sure you don't get your nail dirty. I don't know what's happening right now. But I noticed it last week. I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. But this week I'm gonna say something. Cause I feel like, and we've been saying this since, since sometime. I feel like Colton Hood need to be in the game. And and somebody else need to be playing the star position. I'm going to say it. And, and look, I ain't trying to be mean. And we said this this summer. So, that, so y'all, that's two touchdowns right there we showed y'all, right? That uh that he was he was uh almost a part of, right? The the one when the guy caught the ball on the, on the out. You had when Dylan about to score the touchdown. I think they, they didn't call it. They, they called it out of bounds. But then he got caught on for a deep bomb too, right? And I already told, like, that's what I was saying in summer camp. I seen him get caught over in spring or whatever a few times with a, with a deep ball. And I said, okay, well, he's not really a good deep ball guy. So maybe playing the star position, he can do a lot of that underneath stuff. He don't really – and he got to take this over top. So he don't never really have to get in a position where he's going to have to be one-on-one. I don't trust him at just corner – one on one in the cover three because he was getting beat too much. So last last night he was almost a part of three touchdowns, giving up three touchdowns. That's not where you want to be, y'all. Two of them for sure. 
And if they would have gave Dylan that touchdown, that would have been 